Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Yes, I have another sample. I picked this up while I was out on my birthday actually, on the 17th. Have kind of just got round to reviewing it. So I think this will probably be the only video up this week. I know there was only one video up last week. It's like a fairly busy period at the moment and I hate not uploading twice a week. I think I've only done it a couple of times before. But this week has been like super hectic so at least I'm feeling good that I got at least one video up this week because it has just been so manic. So Too Faced Born This Way is a foundation we have all heard of. I think everyone and their mum must have like tried this. I know that it's recommended by quite a few people so I thought I would give it a go myself. I went up to the counter like to ask for a sample and I was saying like how I thought it was a matte foundation and the lady was saying to me like oh no it's a glowy foundation. So you guys will see what I think of that during the review. I know that it's expanded its shade range because I have the new shade Cloud. I want to say there's 35 shades total which is a pretty good sh shade range. It's near enough the 40 that most brands are and it is expanding like I think that's what matters. It's recognised there aren't enough shades and it has added some new shades in which I love. The shade cloud swatches pretty light, it then will oxidise very slightly. So now we're going to have a look at the claims. So this foundation retails for £29 on Cult Beauty which is where you can get it in the UK. It's supposed to be like a I woke up like this kind of thing so I'm assuming it's supposed to be natural looking. It offers medium to full undetectable coverage. It's an oil free formula which features moisture restoring coconut water, brightening alpine rose and hydrating hyaluronic acid, nourishing skin as it creates a seamless finish. So what I'm getting from this is it's supposed to be medium to full coverage, moisturising and it's supposed to look natural. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this foundation out, do a wear test and let you guys know what I think. If you're new to my channel, I have dry to combination skin. It is particularly dry at the moment because it's the winter so it's basically just dry skin at the moment. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave and if you press up notification bell you'll be notified every time I upload. So if you want to see what I think of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation then please keep on watching. It kind of feels like a long time since I did a foundation review and to be honest I don't think I've ever done one here. The lighting's a little bit off but I think we'll be okay. At least I can see myself now. I remember like for the past couple of videos they've always looked a little bit dodgy and hopefully this one will look a bit better because I've not had a monitor so I've just had to sit here hope that I'm in focus, hope that it's recording. That's why I had to like re-record part of my last video. It's been a bit of a mess. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. ultimate blending brush on this side. So I heard from the people like when I was shopping because I was thinking it was like a matte foundation but they told me it's a glowy foundation. So I honestly don't really know what to expect. On the try on section of the foundation I try to kind of not have an idea of what it's going to look like but if you've heard of that foundation with other people trying it before it is quite difficult to know. I'm not getting a right lot of coverage on this side. I don't know if I've not used enough product, what the situation is, but I'm getting quite light coverage here. I think I've probably not used enough product. It also looks pretty bad on this side so far. It does feel like my brush is soaking up a hell of a lot of product. However, the brush does look pretty bad. Like my skin is quite dry at the moment. But I did my skincare routine like really well, especially for the past few days because I don't like my skin to be off for a foundation review. I don't think that's like a fair representation then of what it's going to look like. But it just does not look good on this side. It just has this like dry, just like a dry appearance to it. Yeah, I would definitely say it looks matte on this side. Definitely very matte. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do the other side with a sponge. I am going to put a bit more product on both sides and then I'm going to build up this side with the sponge. So I am going to do this side with a sponge. I'm putting more product on both sides because I feel like the fact that it's soaked up product is probably why the coverage is less. Like it's a lighter coverage. So I have put a bit more here and I'll build it up with the sponge. I am like a sponge person anyway, you guys know. My LA Girl sponge is like my favourite way to apply foundation. I would still say that's matte looking and I would still say it's kind of a light medium coverage. 
Like I can see the line, especially on my chin. I'm just trying to like buff that out. Yeah, my skin looks really dry. I mean, it looks better on this side than this side, but it still looks very dry. I do feel like it's oxidized a shade or so since I put it on the skin. This is the shade cloud and I do feel like it's matching my skin a little bit more. I felt like initially it was a touch too light. I do feel like I am using like a lot of product here, but then I'm pulling against here and it feels like it's drying to a powder finish. So I am going to work rather quickly with this because I feel like that's part of the problem. It is just looking super matte on me. It's even starting to like settle into this line here. It just looks so dry and awful. I'm glad that I'm just traveling today. I'm not like going anywhere. So I am coming back from the north. So we will be ending this video back at my flat. This is super, super matte finish on my skin. And I just see all my little dry flakes, especially here where I am the driest. It looks really awful to be honest on my skin. I'm really not liking it. I have used quite a bit of product as well to get it to this coverage. I feel like that's partially due to soaking up a product by like the brush, the sponge, but it just, like I have got it to a coverage that I'm happy with. It is medium to full coverage now, but it's taken a lot of work to get it to that. I feel like it's cracking a little bit in these lines already, and that's just not the best look in the entire world. I don't know that I'll need to set this one just because of how matte it is. I feel like my skin is soaking up like any drop of moisture that's been in this foundation. So I am going to pop the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. So I kind of did super basic makeup. I'm running late as per. I meant to set off to the north about half an hour ago. Still have to load my car and pop round and see my nana. So, <laughs> well done Jess. So this foundation is looking dry absolutely everywhere. Like there isn't a place that looks particularly good. My forehead looks the absolute worst. I can see my skin being all flaky and horrible. I feel like I need an exfoliation mask on me like right away. I also had to like set my cheeks a little bit because after like five or so minutes they were still quite tacky. So I did set them and blended my powder products on top and that worked pretty well. It just doesn't look amazing and personally as a dry skin gal I would not really recommend this. Um, I'm going to link all the products that I use down below and we'll do a couple of check-ins throughout the day to see how this foundation wears. Hi guys, I've had this foundation on for about five hours now. I've had a four hour car journey which is why I look fairly bedraggled but I still thought I would check in so you guys could like see up close which is why I've zoomed in. Like everything looks okay here. It looks a little bit dry but not too bad. It's where the other product isn't that's the problem. So like around here it's pretty bad. It's sank into the creases here. My forehead here is like the driest thing on the planet. Like it looks so bad, so dry. This might be a summer foundation. Like I definitely, definitely have foundations that I cannot get away with in the summer and foundations that I just cannot get away with in the winter. And this is probably one of the winter ones, so I think I may try this again in like, a get ready with me in the summer or something like that. Personally, I think that's when it would look better, when I'm a little bit like more oily. But when I'm super dry, I feel like all this does is emphasize my dryness, settles into my lines. It looks just pretty bad all around. So for me, this isn't one I would recommend so far, but we'll see how the rest of the day goes. You never know, we might do well. Hi guys, I've had this foundation on for about 11 hours now and to be honest, it's not looking great still. You can like obviously see how dry it looks here, it's just, it looks awful. It looks really bad around my mouth as well, like really bad. Honestly, this is not a foundation that I would recommend. I will try it again in the summer because the parts that have been really dry and really awful looking are the parts that I have that tend to be oilier, as odd as that sounds, in the summer. So I think we'll try it again in the summer, so I'm not going to get rid of it. But honestly, if you have dry skin all year round, or you're just a dry skin gal generally, do you know what I'm saying? Even if just for the winter, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend trying a foundation that works all year round, do you know what I'm saying? So personally, this isn't one for me. It's not something I'm going to be recommending to you guys. So even though it was a kind of fail, I do hope you liked the video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching and have a nice Christmas.